Hello everyone, welcome to my channel of SOLIDWORKS Simulations. In today's lecture, you will learn how to carry out linear static shell analysis of a spherical head. You will perform the static analysis on this spherical head with shell analysis. In shell analysis, you will define the thickness of this shell. Defining the shell analysis always saves the computational time without affecting the results of simulations in SOLIDWORKS. So first of all, download this Tori Spherical head from our video description link. In the simulation, you will create a curvature based high quality mesh with maximum element size of 15 mm and the minimum element size of 1 mm, 1 mm and you will determine the stresses factor of safety as well as deformations. A pressure is applied on inner face of this shell while the, this shell is fixed about this edge. So let's start our simulation now. First of all, select the simulations and start a new static simulations you can give a specific name to this study if you want to give a different name after that check ok first of all define the material of this shell so this is made of elastic so go to apply edit material and select the elastic apply Close. Now our next step is to enter in the shell manager. Just right click on the part and select the shell manager. From here you have to select the shell entity. Select this face, this face and this face. Go to drop down and select the shell type that is the thin from the shell category and from the material is the allied steel and thickness of the shell is 18 millimeter and the middle surface this is the bottom or top face of the part okay you can see that three faces have been defined as a shell element okay A shell element has been added here. After that, go to the fixtures and select the fixed geometry. Then select the this inner edge. This is the fixed with all degree of freedom. So apply the fixtures. Then go to loads and select the pressure. Pressure in K units into psi. Select this phase, this phase and the this phase and pressure is 500 psi ok after that right click on the mesh and create the mesh and from the mesh parameters select the curvature based mesh and from the maximum element size enter 50 and from the minimum element size, enter 1. Okay. And wait until mesh is being generated. So, mesh has been created now. After that, it's time to run our simulation study of SOLIDWORKS. So, click on the run this study and wait until your solution converts. So, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe for more SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorials. You can see the one major stresses on this spherical cylinder or head. If to go to the edit definitions, then select the units megapascals 
and change to floating. You can see the one major stress is maximum value is 332.69 mega Pascal. That is the less than that of the yield strength of the material. That means our spherical head is safe under 500 psi pressure. So you can see the deformations that occur at bottoms. The maximum deformation is 2.71 millimeter in the negative y directions. You can animate these deformations. Okay. We can also evaluate the factor of safety. Just right click on the words and define factor of safety. Select maximum one major stress failure criteria. You can see that the minimum factor of safety is 1.3. I hope you enjoyed this simulations of SOLIDWORKS regarding shell static analysis of a spherical head. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.